All right, so last time we left off with the estimated regression equation, multiple linear regression equation, forecasting uh, tourist international visitor nights. And uh, we left off with the question, how far into the future can I forecast using this model? Well, the short answer is as far as I want into the future. So let's try to do it for the next two years, which would be um, eight quarters. So to do that, if we go back to where we were in our spreadsheet, uh, we have the intercept and the coefficients for each of the in independent variables. And what we want to do now is we want to forecast for 2011, 2012. All right, so I want to forecast for those. So we don't know what the actuals are. If we were if we went back to the data source of where we got this data, maybe we could actually figure out what the these numbers are because they're older than what we are currently today. But what we want to do is come up with a forecast. So we're going to look for these right here. All right? those eight rows. So let's go ahead and make it yellow. Why not? So to do this, we can actually, uh, because we had set this up for the forecast over here like this, we ought to be able to just drag it down. All right? And then um, I'll make it yellow again. Notice that when I do that, what it does is it gives me the just the intercept, the 25.76. And that's because there's n there's nothing in time period index and nothing in the dummy variables, right? So that tells me that I'm missing data, right? So it, it assumes that it's zero when it's not there for Excel. So what I'd like to be able to do is uh, drag this all the way down, right? That'll change the forecast for each. Notice it should be going up by 0 0.454 each time, right? But I also need to do um, the quarters. So when I do that, make sure that's uh, first quarter, yes, right, second, third, fourth, right. So here are the forecasts for the next eight quarters or the next two years. Now we can't calculate an error because we have, we don't know what the actuals are, right? So we wouldn't be able to calculate the error terms. But we can forecast out, as far out into the future as, as we need. And the only thing we need to do is continue to increase the, the time period index and also make sure we have the dummy variables in there for the proper quarter, All right? So that would give us our forecast for the next two years.